away with this. If they think they can go around saying we're doing breakthroughs when all they're doing is show business, okay, that's what it has to be shown to be. We need a real Mars program, okay, and uh, it needs to be designed on, on the, the simplest and most effective principles. But, yeah. Um, sir? Does the Mars Society have or would have some background information on a real space program for Mars? Well, it's right here. Uh, as I've written a book on the subject, I got a box of them. But uh, the, the, now, of course, this is not the only way to go to Mars. But if anybody proposes a way to go to Mars, which is significantly worse than this, it needs to be discarded. Okay, the the uh, you know this is an existence proof. Okay, it's not a catechism. But if somebody says you know. In order to go to Mars, we need a parallel universe. No, we don't need a parallel universe. Um, it, it, uh, I, I think something a little bit simpler would be nice also. Because uh, in the district, in the of the district I live in, we're going to get a new congressman. Okay. Congressman, you know, and uh, he or she won't know anything about space, you know. Mm -hmm. May not even know how to spell space. <laughs> You're saying do we a position paper or something? Uh, okay. Or, 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 uh, uh, couple of uh, so all those about why the vice mayor of uh, rocket walk look, you know. But well, I tell you what I'll do. I'll write several op eds for Space News. Maybe one. How, how does the Vasimir hoax sound? Um, <laughs> Mars the hard way. Uh, I, 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 the, the I personally think that, was, that would be great. However, quite frankly, I'm, I'm a little concerned that there are not more people with our beds. What, what? Say again? More people. The, you know, you, you're one person, mm -hmm. and it would be nice if right. four or five people would do the same thing. Right. The problem is, you see, that there's a lot of people that want to do it the hard way. Yeah. Okay, because there's a lot of people who don't want to do it at all. Well, there's people who don't want to do it at all, and having it be the hard way plays into their hand. But also, there's all these people who have all these different programs. Now, some of these are justifiable. I mean, we do need a superior, or at least a larger, entry, descent, and landing system than is currently available. And I mean, there will be technology development required. So. It, it, it's not like we, all the technologists are bad people, but it needs to be understood that the technologists are not the bona fide constituents of the Mars program. They are the vendors to the program. Okay? And if you're doing any project, you may need certain vendors, but you want to be paying as few of them as you can, not as many of them as you can. And what we have here, it's like a business whose purchases are being ordered on it by its vendors. That, that's what we have here. So over there at the end. Uh, then I'll yeah, take you, Carlos. Yeah, for a while I was thinking it might make sense once we developed outer space uh, power and beaming to it. But even then it doesn't make sense. It does, sounds like it makes sense if we want to send a, a, a hundred uh, or a few hundred tons of freight and, and it, if it gets there in 10 years, it, it might be okay. But it sounds like it should be reserved for, for, mi for long missions to Saturn and stuff. Right. The, the, if you're doing an outer planetary mission where it's going to take you six years to get to Saturn anyway, okay, uh, and you can accelerate the spacecraft on its way with electric propulsion, and you've got plenty of time uh, for pickup. You know, the electric propulsion is kind of like a... Uh, the, now, while some elements of this conglomerate will be really hot to go to the moon, uh, others really wanted to stick around uh, measuring uh, uh, lifts and drag on airfoils um, and, 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 and do this. And, 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 and you know, and here we go, airfoil number 4,972. Uh, ready for testing this month. Next month, we'll get to 4,973. Um, and what would make this bureaucracy go to the moon? It is the president. Okay. The, the, the NASA 
Now, there, there are some differences. I mean, I think if, if Mike Griffin had been able to do what he really wanted to do, if they had said, Griffin, it's your candy store, do whatever you want. Here's your 19 billion a year, have a good time. Uh, he could have gotten us to the moon uh, within a short amount of time. But that was not the case. He was under various imperatives to inflate the CEV program and do this and do that and all sorts of stuff. But the uh, but if you had, in general though, for instance, with the current NASA administrator who is not anywhere near as strong a personality or intellect as Griffin, um, the uh, he could not control that bureaucracy to do a moon program in eight years. And uh, unless the president was saying, do it, Charlie, or I'll blow your brains out. Yeah. Okay, the, um, and, uh, and then he would know what to do. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but the, um, so, We need, if this is going to be done by the government, and, and conceivably there's another model here in terms of somehow mobilizing the funds to do this privately, but if we're talking about a government space program, which at this point is still the only game in town, uh, I'd like there to be another game. I think we should think about how to create another game, but right now this is the game. Um, there's got to be some real leadership, and it's not just... Uh, Look, we're not really interested in doing anything, but could you do some stuff with some flash so we can show the public that we're really working on breakthrough stuff? Okay. Uh, rather, we need to get to Mars by 2020. Okay. Figure out how to do it. You know, even within NASA, okay, among people who are actually interested in doing significant things, but nevertheless, a variety of other things than going to the moon. Around 1963, I think it was, uh, fairly early in the Apollo program, the lunar orbit rendezvous uh, had been proposed and had a certain amount of support by this time, but had not yet been accepted. Uh, there were still a number of other factions that wanted other approaches. There were people who wanted to build the Saturn IX super booster. There were people who wanted the orbiting space station and on-orbit assembly. There were people who wanted the nuclear rocket as the means of going to the moon. And then there were the LOR people. And they had this meeting down in Huntsville, Marshall Space Flight Center. And it was a big food fight over, you know, which approach to take. And finally, somebody said, look, do we really want to go to the moon or don't we? Okay, and the requirement of being there in 1969 meant all these other things. I mean, some of these in Nerva would be a useful thing to have, but it wasn't necessary to go to the moon. And for the Nerva people to say, you can't do your program before you do our program was baloney. And similarly, the space station people and the Saturn IX people. So ultimately, the thing that forced the baloney out of the program was the schedule. Then the decisive leadership from the top that said, this has to be done, guys, by 1969. So don't come up with a parallel universe for me. Okay, just do it. And that is um, the, um, that's what we need. Yeah. How many launch windows are there to Mars between now and 2020? How many opportunities do they have? Probably about five. To do all of their testing and anything that they might do? Oh, if you're talking about, well, look, most of the testing doesn't have to fly to Mars. I mean, if you're testing a booster, that doesn't have to go to Mars. The, the, the only thing that you might want to test on Mars, well, ISRU, if that's what you're doing, or the Mars entry and landing system. But, but for instance, if you're, let's say you were doing an approach like Mars Direct, where the first payloads you're sending to Mars are without the people. Okay, that is simultaneously delivery of this first set of, of, of hardware to Mars and the definitive test of your entry, descent, and landing system. Okay, the, uh, I mean, certainly we wouldn't want to just send an entry, descent, and landing system of that scale to Mars without attempting to deliver payload at the same time. That uh, doesn't have to be on a pre-return trajectory either. 
No, that doesn't have to be on a free return. That can be on a slower than free return trajectory. Okay, cargo missions can go to Mars on an eight-month trajectory, which is a true minimum energy trajectory. Some of that can be um, on a trajectory that gets back to 